Good day all. I hope you have completed all the activities posted in the discussion forum as on date. If you haven't, for any reason, do complete them before listening to this presentation. This presentation, we will discuss more about microwave communication and its application in wireless technologies. As you know, microwave is a line of sight wireless communication technology that uses high frequency beams of radio waves to provide high speed wireless connections that can send and receive voice, video and data information. Therefore, increasing frequency allows the user of higher gain antennas in the same space. Thus, when the communication is between two fixed stations, there is a clear line of sight using microwave frequencies is advantageous. Please have a look at the outline of uh, today's presentation. So in this session, we will see in detail about microwave in relation to wireless communication. The outline of this presentation covers about microwave radio relay, microwave link properties and uses of microwave links. We'll also be able to appreciate troposcatter in this presentation. Microwave transmission is the transmission of information by microwave radio waves. Although an experimental 64 kilometer microwave telecommunication link across the English Channel was demonstrated in 1931, the development of radar in World War II provided the technology for practical exploitation of microwave communication. In the 1950s, large transcontinental microwave relay networks consisting of chains of repeater stations linked by line of sight beams of microwaves were built in Europe and America to relay long distance telephonic traffic and tele television programs between cities. Communication satellites which transferred data between ground stations by microwaves took over much long distance traffic in the 1960s. In recent years, there has been an explosive increase in the use of this microwave spectrum by new telecommunication technologies such as wireless networks and direct broadcast satellites, which broadcast television and radio directly into consumers' homes. Microwaves are widely used for a point-to-point -point communications because they are small wavelength allows conveniently sized antennas to direct them in narrow beams which can be pointed directly at the receiving antenna. This allows nearby microwave equipment to use the same frequencies without interfering with each other as lower frequency ra radio waves do. Another advantage is that the high frequency of microwaves gives the microwave band a very large information carrying capacity. The microwave band has a bandwidth 30 times that of all the rest of the radio spectrum below it. A disadvantage is that microwaves are limited to line of sight propagation. They cannot pass around hills or mountains as low frequency radio waves can. Microwave radio transmission is commonly used in point-to-point -point communication systems on the surface of the earth in satellite communications and in deep science radio communications. Other parts of the microwave radio band are used for radars, radio navigation systems, sensor systems and radio astronomy. The next higher part of the radio electromagnetic spectrum where the frequencies are about 30 gigahertz and below 100 gigahertz are called millimeter waves because their wavelengths are conveniently measured in millimeters and their wavelengths range from 10 millimeter down to 3.0 millimeter. Higher frequency waves are smaller in wavelength. Radio waves in this band are usually strong, attenuated by the earthly atmosphere and particles contained in it, especially during wet weather. Also, in a wide band of frequencies around 60 gigahertz, the radio waves are strongly attenuated by molecular oxygen in the atmosphere. The electronic technologies needed in the millimeter wave band are also much more difficult to utilize than the, those of the microwave band.
The microwave link is used for wireless transmission of information. Television broadcasting is a perfect example of one-way communication. And for the two-way communication, this is accomplished using communications satellite. Terrestrial microwave relay rings in telecommunication networks, including backbone or backhaul carriers in cellular networks. We have seen examples of wireless transmission of information. Now you can see that wireless transmission of power as a main use of microwave transmission. The microwave link is also used for wireless transmission of power proposed systems, for example, for connecting solar power collecting satellites to terrestrial power grids. Solar power satellite, abbreviated as SPS, is an energy system which collects solar energy in space and transmits it to the ground. It has been believed as a promising infrastructure to resolve global environmental and energy problems for human beings. Microwave radio relay is a technology widely used in the 1950s and 1960s for transmitting signals such as long distance telephone calls and tele television programs between two terrestrial points on a narrow beam of microwaves. In microwave radio relay, microwaves are transmitted on a line of sight path between relay stations using directional antennas forming a fixed radio connection between the two points. The requirement of a line of sight limits the separation between stations to the visual horizon about 30 to 50 miles, that is about 48 to 80 kilometers. Before the widespread use of communication satellites, chains of microwave relay stations were used to transmit telecommunication signals over transcontinental distances. It's very important for a microwave radio relay to have a perfect planning in order to install this system. Because the radio waves travel in narrow beams confined to a line of sight path from one antenna to the other, they do not interfere with other microwave equipment. So nearby microwave links can use the same frequencies. Antennas must be able to highly directional. These antennas are installed in elevated locations such as large radio towers in order to be able to transmit across long distances. Typical types of antenna used in radio relay link installations are parabolic antennas, dielectric lens and horn reflector antennas which have a diameter of up to 4 meters. Highly directive antennas permit an economical use of the available frequency spectrum despite long transmission distances. Because of the high frequencies used, a line of sight path between the stations is required. Additionally, in order to avoid attenuation of the beam, an area around the beam called the first Fresnel zone must be free from obstacles. Obstacles in the signal field cause unwanted attenuation. High mountain peak or ridge positions are often ideal. A microwave link is a communication system that uses a beam of radio waves in the microwave frequency range to transmit video, audio or data between two locations, which can be from just a few feet or meters to several miles or kilometers apart. Microwave links are commonly used by television broadcasters to transmit programs across the country, for instance, or from an outside broadcast back to a studio. Mobile units can be camera mounted, allowing cameras the freedom to move around without trailing cables. These are often seen on the touch lines of sports fields on Steadicam systems. This image typically shows the wavelength of each radiation types. Now let's focus on the microwave spectrum in this image. Now you can see the approximate scale of wavelength and the frequency and also the temperature of objects at which this radiation is the most intense wavelength emitted. So it has developed its own properties of microwave links. We will uh, see these points. The first one, it involves line of sight communication technology. 
It's affected greatly by environmental constraints, including rain fade. It has a very limited penetration capabilities through obstacles such as hills, buildings, and trees. It is sensitive to high pollen count. And the signals can be degraded during solar proton events. These are the typical properties of the microwave links. Because of these unique properties, the microwave link has these advantages as shown. It supports larger bandwidth and hence more information is transmitted. For this reason, microwaves are used for point-to-point -point communications as we have already seen. More antenna gain is possible. Higher data rates are transmitted as the bandwidth is more. Antenna size gets reduced as the frequencies are higher. Low power consumption as the signals are of higher frequencies. The effect of fading gets reduced by using line of sight propagation. Provides effective reflection area in the radar systems. Satellite and terrestrial communications with high capacities are possible. Low cost miniature microwave components can be developed. Effective spectrum usage with wide variety of applications in all available frequency ranges of operation. However, it has also got some limitations. Some of the limitations of the microwave are the cost of equipment or the installation cost is very high. They are hefty and occupy more space. The electromagnetic interference may occur. The variations in dielectric properties with temperatures may occur. Inherent inefficiency of electric power is, a, is one of the main disadvantages of microwaves. We have seen the uses, the properties, the advantages and disadvantages of microwave links. Now we can see the other numerous uses it has. Some of them are listed here. It has its use in communications between satellites and base stations. It acts as backbone carriers for cellular systems. It is used for short range indoor communications. It is used in linking remote and regional telephone exchanges to larger main exchanges without the need for copper or optical fiber lines. It is used in measuring the intensity of rain between two locations. So these are some of the uses of microwave links. We will see the brief introduction about troposcatter in this uh, slide. Uh, terrestrial microwave relay links are limited to distance to the visual horizon, a few tens of miles or kilometers depending on the tower height. Tropospheric scatter, uh, it's also called as the troposcatter or scatter, was a technology developed in the 1950s to allow microwave communication links beyond the horizon to a range of several hundred kilometers. The transmitter radiates a beam of microwaves into the sky at a shallow angle above the horizon toward the receiver. As the beam passes through the troposphere, a small fraction of the microwave energy is scattered back toward the ground by water vapor and dust in the air. A sensitive receiver beyond the horizon picks up this reflected signal. Signal clarity obtained by this method depends on the weather and other factors and as a result of high level technical difficulty is involved in the creation of a reliable over horizon radio relay link. Troposcatter links are therefore only used in special circumstances where satellites and other long distance communication channels cannot be relayed or such as in military communications. With this, we come to an end of this presentation. And now open the discussion forum from your Blackboard course page and answer the questions posted under the activity microwave. The first question is, one of the disadvantages of microwave is that the cost of equipment or installation cost is high. 
find out the reason why the installation cost is high while implementing microwave links by identifying the cost drivers. The second one is about troposcatter links. We know that troposcatter links are, the, are used only in special circumstances. Explain why. So I, I want you to post your response in the discussion forum by creating a thread under the forum with the subject activity microwave. Once you have posted your answers in the blackboard, you're free to leave and that's all for today. Thank you for listening.